ID8 BIM link lets you pull data from an Autodesk Revit file into Excel for editing and then push it back into Revit with equal ease. This short video demonstrates just one of the many ways BIM link can be used to enrich your building information model. Hardware and finish schedules using key schedules with ID8 BIM link 2012. Using key schedules with ID8 BIM Link 2012 can facilitate data management for items such as door hardware schedules and enable non-Revit users to contribute to the building information model. Typically, when we deal with doors, we're managing a very wide variety of data, frame information, glazing finishes, fire ratings, and as in this case, detailed hardware packages. Let's take a look at the hardware schedule that's already been created by our consultant in Excel. We'll use Revit to make a corresponding key schedule with new parameters for each column of data. You can make a key schedule in the same way you'd make a regular schedule, just be sure to select the Schedule Keys button from the New Schedule dialog. We'll use this method to create a placeholder for the data we have received from the consultant, creating both text and yes-no parameters to replicate that Excel file. We can use the New Row tool within this key schedule to create a placeholder for each row of data within the consultant's file. Now we're ready to export this key schedule to Excel. The ability to export the key schedule data is a feature that's new to ID8 BIM Link 2012. Using the new link option within BIM Link, we can select the key schedule button and gain access to all key schedule data within this Revit project. The key name and all the related parameters are available for export. This setup, required only once at the beginning of a project, will allow us to easily update the consultant spreadsheet at any point in time throughout the length of the project. We can now view the consultant's file side by side with our newly created BIM link file. Once they're open together, we can simply use the copy and paste to connect the parameter values with their element IDs. After saving the revisions, you can use BIM link to re-import the data back into Revit. The Import Issues dialog shows us which cells have been changed and if there are any errors. Upon import, the revisions to the key schedule will display. Often, these same values will be added to the door schedule itself. As we edit the existing door schedule, we'll now notice our key, our key which is called the hardware group, along with the other parameters we created earlier. Now, when we assign a key to a door instance, all the related parameters, such as hinge set or egress hardware, will automatically fill out per the hardware key schedule. The assignment of the key to the door instance can also be accomplished via BIM link and a door instance link. Notice how the hardware group assignment is part of the door element and how the related values are represented here below. Key parameters will always display as read-only in the properties dialog. We've just seen how powerful ID8 BIM Link can be when used in conjunction with managing hardware schedule data. Some other common uses of key schedules include room styles, lighting and equipment tables, and the very elusive problem of connecting 2D detail references to 3D objects. No matter what your data management challenges are, ID8 BIM Link provides a fast and simple to use solution. ID8 is an Autodesk authorized developer with 25 years of experience in software development with a specific focus on building information modeling. For complete information about ID8 BIM Link, please visit our website at www.id8bimlink.com.